Hey, yeah, folks. Well, after working on that for a good part of the day, I believe I have a bad coil in that thing. Yeah, this is just another old uh, tractor I got a hold of here. Um, anyways, it is a uh, 16 horsepower MTD, but it's the older one with a 16 horse uh, Briggs & Stratton engine. And pretty tough machines these were. The same transmissions as my John Deere's, my three John Deere's. This one actually has a snow blower with it. So I really want to get this working so I can use it to do our driveway this winter. That's one of the reasons I'm working at it. That, uh, that snowblower is almost four feet wide or four feet wide. I'm not sure. I could check it with the stick I have on the bike. Uh, maybe I didn't put it back on the bike, did I? I think I took it out. No, it's out of the buzzsaw. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's four foot. I could, I could check it with one of these. These guys here are four feet. We'll check it with this. So I'm guessing it's not exactly four feet, but it's pretty close, I think. We'll see here. Uh, lines up there pretty close. Let's uh, slide that over. Get that set right. It's gonna fall, more than likely. Oh, so that's pretty good there. So what do we got? Hey. Uh, so that would be what a 40 46 inch yeah it's two inches off roughly two three inches off of being 48 so uh and it's the blower not the thrower it's got the chains and everything with it a friend of mine brought it over and dropped it off he was using it and it lost spark it wouldn't run anymore but he hasn't ran that in years and years so um i tried this coil on it but I don't really know if that coil is any good. That is the problem. I'm gonna test that. And I have this coil here as well, but that's all something else. The original coil I put back on it. I went at it as well. And I cleaned the points here on it today. I cleaned the points, changed the condenser. The old condenser didn't look too good. That's the old condenser there. Still can't get spark on it though. And I'm not exactly sure what is going on. So that is something I'm going to have to go at tomorrow if it's not raining too much. But, uh, hey, I got the electric start working on it. So the electric start works good. Watch this. Yeah, so the starter works good on everything. I'll take the cable off overnight just in case it decides to short on me. So, uh, anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I worked at today for a little while. You know, it looked like it was going to rain off and on all day, so I didn't want to start doing anything that was uh, required a whole lot of tools. So, so I thought I would go at this and try to get it going. But uh, I found a mouse's nest that's been around there probably since the uh, mid '80s, <laughs> mid to late '80s. It's been in there, maybe '90s. I'm not sure. This actually has the three-point hitch on it as well, so. Uh, the little arms go right right down in there that's where the arms go you can see them right there i think yeah so uh it'd be a good one for us to clean snow this year i'm going to try a snowblower this year instead of uh a tractor or a dozer because i don't really want the snow banks this year without the snow banks hopefully it will melt and get away it's funny how these tractors they pretty much made them all the same like the frame on this is very very similar to the john deere i have you see it's even got that funny shape there like those john deere's over there have those have collars 14 horse collars these have this here has a 16 horse briggs and stratton the older one and uh this one has the same transmission too it's got 
it's got first here and then we push it all the way over you got the low range it's like a super low range so super low second reverse all the way over neutral in the center go up then third and then fourth exactly the same pattern as the john deere's and they all take the same wheels like there's no real difference in the wheels other than this one's turned backwards compared to those wheels these the dish go in and the John Deere's they go outwards so not much difference I mean the tires are the exact same size there's no difference on the tires you know all the front it front tires and everything all interchange so uh, I mean whatever you know I like them it's my pastime and in the winter it's snowmobiles in the summer it's garden tractors so anyways it's about how she goes folks so uh, if you're familiar with these older MTDs uh, uh, let me know if you've had any or I've had parts for them or seen them around this this here like I say is what they call the uh, MTD uh, 16 horsepower transaxle whatever the heck that you know I mean whatever you know 16 horse made by MTD and they all pretty much had a transaxle under most of them back then but I, I like the fact that that actually has a an air uh, duct on the side to draw cool air and that's the side cover off of it has all the side covers and everything and this this like I say is the is the snow blower for it and he brought me out this snow blower too I don't have a clue what this is off of either folks so if you've uh, seen one of these it's too narrow to be an ATV so it is off a some kind of a, a mower or some sort but pretty neat nonetheless and he brought it out and gave it to me so I thought that was pretty cool it is a shaft drive and it's a blower model as well so it's a it's a dual stage two stage it's not a single stage single stage this auger spins really fast and it has paddles on it and it whips snow out and uh, in soft snow it doesn't really push it out so fast but the blower is nice and it's a two stage so anyways that's probably it for this evening folks I uh, hope you enjoy the video uh, if you do please give us a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment uh, about the garden tractors if you don't mind these are not these are not just mowers uh, I don't collect just the lawn mowers I collect the garden tractors the, the good heavy duty ones like this one here I got all fixed up nicely now I like this one it it works really good I have a snow thrower for this it's a single stage it's not the dual stage I wouldn't mind getting the dual stage they did make them for this but uh, I like this guy for in the summer in the garden. I don't want to wreck this mowing this winter, or blowing this winter. I mean, I want to save this one for the garden, put the tiller back on it, use the mower under it. This one here too, the fella said he's got all the weights for that old MTD as well. And then uh, these guys here, I'm just waiting for parts for these. And then I will get, uh, I'll get this one all back together. Put the snow thrower on it and I'll use this one this winter. I'll choose one of those hoods and uh, 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 what do you call it there? The the tin tin work for the back. Choose one of those and I'll put it together. But I want to get that one over there working because it's got the larger, larger snow blower on it. Anyways, that's it for this evening, folks. I'm rambling on. You all have a great evening, great day, great morning, whatever the case may be. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye, all.